Okay guys, welcome to the first of the triple header um, in this episode against Atalanta in the league. Now we're 19th in the league, obviously we got their first win last week which was great, um, no denying that it was a major boost. Um, now we have to beat Atalanta who are currently 8th, um, which at this stage of the season isn't you know, too disheartening for us. But we just need to continue on the great form that we showed in the last game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the side. Mexes obviously suspended. Um, so I'm going to bring in Christian Zapata. Some of the fact is I don't think Alex is quite the standard of Zapata. It's a bit mixed and match. I mean, it can be itchy peachy really. Um, but I just feel that you know we'll get more out of him that way. So, and I think, I'm not sure whether to bring back Luca Antonelli or not, but I'll leave him on the bench, just to be on the safe side, so we can bring him on, if need be. So, let's get right into the game, and see how things go. I've just got a feeling that this side now is progressing nicely. I mean, we have had um, a lot of games this season that have been very poor but I'm just hoping now that we've turned the corner and we are able to get a result here. We're sticking with overload, we have to do this, we're going for it, let's go. Melinda Scaglio. So I mean, if we start off and you know basically explode on teams like this, um, score a couple of goals and then we can sit back um, I know that's not what I was saying in the last game, but that was only because we had to win that, you know, no doubt. Um, but, oh, for fuck's sake. That is a shocking start. 1-0 down after eight minutes. And, you know, there was so much at stake in the last game. And we did it so well. And then to concede like that is just a slap in the face. I mean, it was from outside the area. The, the guy basically just rammed it home. It was a great goal, don't get me wrong. Don't take anything away from that boy. It was a great goal. But it was preventable from our side. Definitely. And I just feel like we're lacking something. And I don't know what it is. Uh, I was really looking forward to this game especially. After the, being on the high from the last game. But see if we go 2-0 down here. Then we are in serious, serious bother. You know, I mean. Show some passion, man. Get involved with the game. For goodness sake. I mean, I don't ask for much. But I expect, you know, a decent performance. At very least, there's not one player, well, it's done Raman out over 6.9, but, you know, there's not one player, outfield player, that's over 6.8. It's ridiculous. It's poor. You know, I just don't understand how these players can play so well against Empoli one week and then play so badly against Atalanta the next. I just don't get it. Yellow card for De La Sandro now. There's nothing much happening in this first half apart from the goal. Which isn't good for us, to be honest. I mean, it, it was okay when we were um, level pegging. But here's a chance for us. Ball at Artis Kiglio. If that's a highlight, then this game is awful. Because that was a dreadful, dreadful chance. Um Get out there and do something else in the second half. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. If you haven't done anything, the subs are coming on. Simple as that. And you will be replaced for the next game. If something's not working, you've got to change it. Don't you dare. Don't you bloody dare go 2-0 down now. Do not want to be in this situation again. 
whereby we are basically staring yet again at you know what I'm just going to bring this guy on and Maldini bring on the kids at least then we can say we've got something out of the game that the kids have got 40 odd minutes I just don't think these players are up to it at all I mean I'm not talking about the kids here I'm talking about the senior players we had a great result against Empoli and then we're back to this shite you know, it just beggars belief, and there's nothing changed. I hadn't altered anything. In fact, I deliberately kept the Skiglio on um, when I could have quite easily replaced him. Goal, Menes, 2 1. I'm not going to get overly excited about it because even if we got a, a goal back, um, you know, even if we got another goal back, a 2 2 draw with Atalanta, still pretty poor. I'm disappointed in this performance so far, but at least that's given us some kind of hope. And it was good to see Maldini getting involved in that as well. I mean, he, you know, he, he's never going to be as good as his dad, let's face it. Never. I mean, there's not many people in the world that are as good at position wise as his dad. Um, Paolo Maldini was one of the greatest defenders in history. Uh, for Milan, so oh. well, that just sums it up. We have just conceded a goal from a set piece. Two men uh, mark with one marker, and that's what happens. I don't know where the rest of the players were, but they weren't where they should have been, and that has caused us. No end the hassle. And now we're three one down and Baka has just shot closer to the corner flag than the goals. Ah ho oh, hum Another day different well same problems really. Um we're just not looking like creating much here today at all. Sad general Hits the bar, I think, maybe. Maybe the keeper save and just panned it up. But it looks like we're going to lose 3 1, and admittedly not happy with the performance. At least in the second half, we got a goal, and we also put three subs on, uh, three kids on there, which will be progress for the future. But I, I just don't know. I mean, if you guys have got any idea what I'm doing wrong exactly, then I'll be all ears because I'm trying to play attacking football um, and really just it's just not working. Uh, I know that Italian football traditionally was always negative and kind of backward, but I'm wanting to try and buck that trend. The board want me to go attacking and it's just simply not working. Sorry, right, seeming motivated now. You should have seen motivated earlier on the game. We're still only three points from the next, or two points from the next um, position in the league, so it's not disastrous, but again, it's not good. Um, and that's going to get the board on my back again. So. You know. I mean, I, th I think I mean, the next game against Bologna is a must-win game for two reasons. One, we need a victory anyway. And two, look at where Bologna are in the league. That is really... This is <laughs> desperate stuff here, guys. But I um, hope you're enjoying seeing me struggle like nothing on earth. And I'll just fast-forward to the Bologna game and I'll be right back with you. Well, guys, that's us at the Bologna game. And I'm going to pretty much stick with this team... Um, I don't see any point in changing it. Got Dunham in goals, Abate, Antonelli, fullbacks, Mexes, Romagnoli in the centre back positions. And I'm just wondering if I should maybe actually switch them round. No, I'll leave them as be just now. Um, Montalivo and Polly 
in midfield along with Bonaventura. And up front, Luis Adriano, Baca and Mario Balatelli. The enigma. The man who I'm hoping will be able to fire this club to glory eventually. I was only here for a season, but you know what? Let's just make it the best season possible. Let's just begin to get ourselves out of this mess that we're in. Because let's face it guys, we are in a mess. Um, and it would be nice to be able to go into the next game having beaten Bologna, who are obviously the place below us. So just tell them that we want a better performance today. I'm sticking on overload for the time being. I know we had a setback last game, but I'm going for it this time. We are we have to win this game. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Shelly Doors, they've got a chance and good save, Donna Rummer. Bloody hell. Don't start this this early. Jeez oh. So just in the early exchanges, not a lot happening. To be honest, I'd take a tight game if we could win it. Um, I wouldn't mind that at all. Not more, because I don't understand this. I mean, I know that Italian football is kind of dirty, but the amount of bookings that we get is unbelievable. And that's with them being told to stay back. You want to not dive into tackles. So I don't know whether you guys have experienced that as well, uh, playing in Italy or not, uh, but it just seems to me that there's a bit too much of the, the bookings going on, um, and I don't really know why. But all I know is this has been a pretty boring live comm so far, there's been nothing happening. Um, you know, we just seem to be meandering along to the, the kind of half time where no action, no nothing. I mean, a home tired, they're expecting a wee bit better than this. There's been plenty of bookings in the game. I mean, I, I just find this ridiculous. They've had six bookings in the first half. Oh, well. Right, okay. Disappointing, extremely. Um, switch is going to be made at half time I think for definite um, I just need changes here because we have been poor Does Giglio on for Antonelli Maldini on for Abate And Kevin Prince Boateng on for Polly. I think that's the wisest options just because of the the, the bookings. Because I'm, I'm just sick and tired of losing guys to sendings off. And I know now that we've only got one player on, out there on booking, and that's Mexesh. And he's going to prove to me now by getting sent off. It doesn't matter what I do. Back up. Oh. Well, at least that looks like we're threatening something. Um, if we could do that more often, it'd be quite nice. Because so far it's looked like we haven't been threatening at all. We're supposed to have an overload here, people. Again, there's just nothing kind of happening at all here. You, know, you think that you know we'd be able to show something at home? I mean, just something, anything to try and kickstart this game. But I mean, there's just been nothing. I 
There's nothing I can even do because we're on unattacking. Um, encourage them. Good save, Donnarumma. Now come on, guys. Nice bit of football. Good ball. Alatelli. Oh, he's offside. <laughs> Looks like an end nil nil. Pretty poor. Back at oh, he's offside. Oh, game, why are you doing this to me? Oh, guys, I really thought that was it. <coughs> I thought that we'd done the impossible and pulled a goal out of nothing. But 0-0 draw against Bologna, not happy with that team, not happy with that at all. I mean, fair enough, they are, you know, joint and bottom with us, and we've got a point out of the game. Which I suppose, you know, at this point in the season, we'll take any points going. But I feel that was our opportunity. To get three points and really strengthen our position, and we blew it. So I think in the the game after the Empoli game, I I said that there were three easier games. Well, we've had two of them and we've lost one and drawn one. So not overly impressed with this team at the moment. Um, I mean, drop a comment in the comments below, guys, if you think I could be doing anything differently. I mean, obviously we gained the point on Verona, um, who are in 18th, just above us. So that's always nice to see. Um, but apart from that, we haven't really gained on anyone. So looking at the league, yeah. Again, you could say we're only three points away from getting out of the relegation zone. So board confidence is at an all-time low here. But we'll see how it goes. Next game is against Udinese. So I'll be right back. I'll skip forward to that day. And I'll be back with you in a short wee minute. Hi guys and welcome to the third part of this triple header. It's Udinese away from home and I hope you'll understand what I've done. Uh, I've changed the formation completely because we needed something else. We just were not showing anything that I thought was good enough to um, warrant being defensive or negative or anything I just thought you know what if we go for this I'm sure we can do it so what I've done with that in mind is I've changed the formation to 4-4-2 with two wingers or inside forwards um, I've brought Honda back into the team I've brought Bertolacci into the team I brought Zapata into the team and I've brought Descaglio into the team and switched it about a lot so Fingers crossed this comes off because I would love to see us get a victory here. I don't know how we'd manage it, but to be honest, I just want to see a win next to our name just for something a bit different um, rather than the usual loss, 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 loss. So what we'll do is we'll just get on with this game now and we'll see how we do. Um, hopefully we'll be able to win. Polly suspended for the game. Okay, he must be on the bench, right? Take him off, replace him with Mexes just in case. I took Mexes off because I just thought that Zapata's extra physicality might help us in the fight against relegation. Don't know how it'll work out, but it's always worth a go. So I just thought, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to win. So I'm going to basically just say, right, let's go lads, come on. Uh, media are on our backs. Let's put them to bed. Right now, right here. So we're shooting easy kick off. Um, we are really struggling this season to put any kind of form or performances together. I don't really know why that is, because we are a good side. 
we have some good players. Um, I just really hope that we can do something here to to prove to the board that I am not a dud manager. I mean, I've done it with other saves, but um, just this one, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that we didn't sign anyone at all and the side wasn't good enough to start with. I really don't know. Um, I did think of just, you know, going for, like, staying with the same side uh, for the rest of the season. But then again, you look at the position we're in and I don't think, you know, I think if we get the opportunity to sign people on... Um, in January, I think we should do it. What a triple save by Donna Rummer! Whoa, first serious bit of action there. All shots saved by Donna Rummer, which was brilliant. So, wow, yeah, um, that's not a good sign to be honest. It's not a sign that this tactic's working so far. Um, but we'll need to wait and see how we do in the rest of the game because at the moment it's still nothing each and as long as it's still nothing each we've still got a chance of nicking a goal um, which isn't how I'd prefer to do I'd prefer to win playing free flowing attacking football but we've tried that it's clearly not working is that Montalivo bruised rib I cannot even begin to tell you how annoying that is um, where's this right we'll bring on it's a tough place to because we don't have well, just to bring on the, the kid because uh, that's the one position that we cannot afford to lose is a centre midfielder Looks like we're going to get in that half time nil nil. Not the greatest performance in the world, but you know what? Passionately. Keep going, you can still win. Come on, guys. I've got faith in you. We're going to go out there. We are going to change this up. And you know what else? We're going to completely take them by, you know, surprise. Complete surprise. We're going to go overload from the start. We're just going to go for it. Straight from standard to overload. We're going to just beat the living daylights out of Udinese, hopefully. Bonaventura. Shocking ball. But well done. Go on, Baca. Play it. Adriano, play it. El Hai. Tuskeglio. Oh, how did we miss that? What a chance that was. Can I just say that was not a floated cross like I've actually said that we should do? Oh, no. Good save, keeper. Well done, Donnarumma. I tell you what, for a kid, he's coming on leaps and bounds. And in game, I can see it. Um, the amount of saves he makes is incredible. Get this ball back. Win it. Well up. Oh, Honda. Oh, that is shocking play. Well done, though. Defensively, that was good. Bonaventura. Back us on here. Back us on. Oh. Oh, boys. I thought that was a goal. All day, I thought that was a goal. Descaglio. Zapata. Bertolacci, El Lali, Bonaventura, and again, Honda, oh, good tackle, it's the corner, Honda, poor, Luis Adriano, on to Honda, Baca, oh, still misses as well, even though it was offside, he still misses, So 60 minutes played and it's fairly even so far I would say. One going to that, here's Baca, ball in and again Honda, oh, shot blocked. 
I just don't think we're going to get the luck in front of goal this season at all. You know, I mean, no matter what you say about our team, we've done okay in this game. We've been solid, we've looked solid, we've looked like a team that wants to, to play good football. And we've looked like an attacking team as well, which is unusual. Get the ball away. Oh, you fucking bastard. You know, I knew that was going to happen. I just knew that after all that, after all our hard work, effort, determination, we were going to lose that goal. That's awful. Right. Passionately. Encourage. Come on, guys. Don't give this up. Bonaventura. Ball. Honda. Play it. Goal! Yes! 1-1. One, one. Luis Adriano, I think it was a header. That will do nicely. Doesn't matter how it goes in. Honda. Ball back to Descaglio. Ball in. And the flick header from Luis Adriano beats the goalkeeper. It's 1-1. One, one. And we are back in the game, guys. That could be a pivotal moment in our season. If we can go on from here and collect a point or three from this game, that header could be so pivotal. That was one of the things I asked from the players, was try your best, try and see what we can do here. And you know what? Luis Adriano answered that. I'm going to make a couple of subs here at the end. Maldini on for Descaglio, who's looking knackered. And also, we're going to bring on Locatelli, are we? No, we're not. We're going to bring on Kevin Prince Boateng for Bertolacci. Hopefully, we can turn one point into three. In saying that though, if we turn one point into one, I'm quite happy with that, considering how we've played this season so far. Every point's a, a bonus for us right now. Maldini, ball in. Back up! Back up! Oh, don't you be offside! You f- oh! Da! Oh, we were so close, guys. I really was near enough off my seat, bouncing there. I thought, here's the second goal... Oh, he looks onside to me. He looks decidedly onside to me there. Referee's ruled it out. Yeah, absolute arsehole. Backer. Ball in. Maldini, play it. Play it in. Oh, no, it's going to... That's it. Game over. Yep. That's the final score, 1-1. One, one. Disappointing, especially given that um, we had that goal disallowed in the last minute. But you know what? They were unlucky. They did play well. I'm happier with that. We've moved up to 18th now. We're moving up in the you know in the places here. It wasn't the greatest performance. It was an away tie. But you know what? We got the point. And quite frankly, right now, all we need is to start moving up the table and we've done that if we could move up a place every week I'd be delighted with that so what I'll do now guys is I'll play through uh, to the Verona game in a couple of weeks it looks like there's an international break so um, although this episode has technically been a defeat and two draws compared to the you know some of the previous episodes I'm actually quite happy with that um, and I think that we are moving now in the right direction. And hopefully this new tactic will bed in a wee bit and we'll be able to, um, you know, the next episode I think I'll do probably a triple header again and I'll do Verona, Sampdoria and Sudtirol Alto Adage um, in the cup. So that should be interesting. Um, I think well, if we don't win that, for goodness sake, we should, I, I might just resign. I may be sacked. You never know. But uh, and then after that, you've got the big, big three games: 
Roma Inter Tur uh, Torino. I think that I mean, that could really be in very interesting. So I'll skip forward to the Verona game and I'll see you guys in the very next video.